Good afternoon, beautiful people of Los Angeles. If I may, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Cece Valencia, and you've probably heard me on 935K Day every single morning from 6 a.m. to 12 noon. And I can also be seen on the Black Report every day from 4 to 5 on Fox Soul. And that's why it's a huge honor to be here today. Because on the radio, on the television, we speak our truth, our voice. And that's what Kobe Bryant was about. He was about the truth, and he was about letting our voice be heard. Today is a huge honor for me to be here for Mamba Day. Kobe Bryant meant so much to the city of L.A. Each and every one of us has a special memory or a moment of Kobe Bryant that has touched us in every way. We all grew up with Kobe Bryant from the great number eight to the black Mamba number 24. And from the first time I saw him playing on the court, I was mesmerized. I saw passion and a strength of perseverance that I had never seen before. Kobe was the first guard to be drafted by the NBA straight out of high school. Kobe Bryant played for the Los Angeles Lakers his entire professional career. Kobe was the youngest player to start an NBA game. Kobe Bryant won two Olympic gold medals for men's basketball. Let us not forget that. He was more than great. He was exceptional. As a proud Mexicana that stands before you today, that was born and raised here in Los Angeles, it warms my heart and filled me with so much joy when I first heard him speaking Spanish at a press conference. I must have jumped up, yelled, and screamed from my living room. And I said, that's right, Kobe. Show them what time it is. Kobe was for everybody. Kobe gave back to this city all the time. He loved LA and he loved us. Through different charities and from his own charity, from the Mama Academy to Kobe and Vanessa Bryant Family Foundation, to the After School All Stars, Make a Wish Foundation to stand up for cancer. Kobe Bryant was a man of the people and of the community. And again, I'm so honored to be here. And I'm honored to be introducing another amazing man that does so much for the community and so much for the people of LA. Please allow me to introduce Council Member Curran Price of the 9th District. Thank you, CC, to uh, our neighbors and friends. Uh, welcome to this, this exciting day. Proud that you're able to join me and Councilman Herb Weston as we make a, a, an exciting announcement. There was certainly an early buzz on the scene even before Kobe Bryant moved to LA. You know, a 17 year old kid that spoke several languages, CC, uh, including Spanish, uh, and of course he had a jump shot for the ages. Little did we know the journey we would be going on with him during the course of his career. He would really be a modern renaissance man. Not only a superstar basketball player, but he was a philanthropist, he was an entrepreneur, an entertainer, a mentor, but most importantly, he was a family man dedicated to his family who watched him grow throughout the years, developing into the legend that he became. On the heels of Kobe Bryant's 42nd birthday, which we celebrated yesterday, the tenderness of his loss is still raw. And in our city, and in our nation, uh, and in the world, it's reeling from how our lives have changed this year. We have had no shortage of challenges that we've had to face head on. The relentless disease killing our people, economic distress and civil unrest, holding on to the ideals of Mamba forever, the Mamba mentality, is very, very important. To be better today than we were yesterday, to keep moving forward, to, pu to put one foot in front of the next, to smile and just keep rolling. On this day, Kobe Bryant Day, we wanted to do something special to honor the legacy that Kobe left behind. We want to pay tribute to the everlasting impact his life has had here in L.A. and 
bestow a special gift to the legions of fans all around the city and all around this world. Kobe gave his heart to the city of L.A., the city that he loved, the city that loved him right back. He became a son to the city of angels, and today we pay homage to him by formally announcing plans to name a stretch of Figueroa from Olympic Boulevard down to King. That stretch symbolizes the beaten path Kobe took over the span of his 20-year career, filled with sacrifice and focus and determination. The essence of his hard work, all the blood, sweat, broken bones, heartbreaking losses, and triumphant wins, lives here and in our hearts forever. If you listen closely, you can still hear the millions upon millions of cheering fans that have lined these streets to celebrate Laker victory parades. These streets belong to all of us. In the last 24 hours, we've had to revisit his loss. Thousands of tributes from all over the world are flooding in, searching for the words to express what Kobe has meant to them and their lives. Kobe Bryant was so much more than a basketball player. First and foremost, he was a husband and a father, a loving husband and a loving father. And while nothing we can do will ever fill the void of losing him, we as the Los Angeles, we as the city of LA, we want to pay homage to him by cementing his spirit throughout these streets. So when we drive down this stretch, we will forever be able to look up at Kobe Bryant Boulevard and feel him smiling down on us and the everlasting impact his life has had and will continue to have for generations to come. And to Kobe's widow, Vanessa, and their daughters and the entire Bryant family, we thank you for sharing Kobe with us. And may you forever feel the warmth and love from the City of Angels. I look forward to coming back here to officially unveil Kobe Bryant Boulevard. And it's certainly going to be a treasured landmark. One that will continue to bond us all together. Whether man, woman, boy, girl, young or old, no matter the skin tone, the language spoken, or our zip codes. For all of us, in the name of the King of Los Angeles, we honor Kobe. And now I'd like to introduce a man that I see all the time before COVID-19, all the time in the city of LA doing great things. Council member Herb Wesson of the 10th District. Right. Oh, that'll, <laughs> that'll wake you up in the morning. Look, let's give Cece a round of applause. She's always out, always in our community and we can always, always count on her. I want to thank Councilman Curran Price, my friend and colleague, for allowing me to play a role in renaming Figueroa or a stretch of it for Kobe Bryant Boulevard. Mr. Price, you have just made me a hero in the eyes of my grandchildren, so I really appreciate that. In our business, sometimes we have the opportunity to do something that's genuine. Sometimes we have the opportunity to do something that everyone supports. Sometimes we have the opportunity to do things where politics are never, ever, ever considered. And this is one of those, one of those good things that we get to do and to cherish. But it's not, when Kobe was taken from us, you've never seen a whole region grieve as if they had lost a loved one. And I keep asking myself, why is that? It's not because he was the black mamba. 
It's not because he had ice water in his veins and when the game was on the line, he wanted to take a shot. It was because this guy who spoke many different languages, who traveled this world on several occasions, had an opportunity to connect with kings, but most importantly, to connect with us, the mere mortals who make up this city. We grieved because he was the ultimate girl dad. We grieved because he did everything that he could to have people recognize the beauty of women in sports. We grieve because he was special and because he connected with us. In the city council a few years ago, we had the opportunity to honor this great man. I myself had an opportunity to speak to him for about 12 minutes. And amongst all of the mobs, he would take pictures with everyone that wanted to take a picture with him. But this mamba, ice water in his veins, when I introduced him to my son and his fiance, Kobe Bryant took them over to the side and for five minutes gave them marital advice. That's why Kobe connected with all of us. When we were trying to get the Olympics to come to Los Angeles and there was this big dinner given by Casey Wasserman and we had celebrities and sports stars and Olympic stars and actors at this event and I was in, 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 invited. Everybody wanted to be with Kobe and believe it or not, everybody wanted to take a picture with Sylvester Stallone. But in the midst of this crowd with all of these big wigs, Kobe Bryant comes over to me and says, hey man, how's everything going in the city of LA? That's why he connected with us. You can't drive up and down a major street in the city of LA without seeing a mural of Kobe and Gigi. Black, white, Latino, Asian. When we, as good, regular folk, were down and life gets tough, it was Kobe Bryant that not just put the Lakers on his back, but he put L.A. on his back as well, and he took us to championships. After championships, and he made us proud. We were L.A., a city of champions. And none of us here today can wait for what's hopefully in a few weeks to have our very first Laker championship parade go down Kobe Bryant Boulevard. God bless us all. It's a, a pleasure to be part, part of this. <laughs> Thank you, Councilman Emeritus Wesson. Uh, happy to take any questions that you might have. Well, we're making we're making the motion tomorrow. We hope that the appropriate city city uh, council uh, committee will take it up uh, in an expeditious manner. Uh, there will be some hearings and opportunity for people to have some input. Uh, and so I'm hopeful that uh, that can be done within the next several months. Hey, I'm gonna pick it up. By, with my own little hands and take it to committee, to committee, to wherever it needs to go so that when the Lakers win the championship, we can dance in the middle of Kobe Bryant Boulevard. And if all of L.A. sounds off and says, let's get this done, we can get it done quickly. So let the city council hear that you support Mr. Price's motion. Sorry about that. That's all right. You're on the team. All right. CC.
Why don't you come bring us on home? Again, thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you so much in joining us to honor Kobe Bryant, that great man of the city of L.A. that we love so much. And, of course, remember Kobe Street. Like they said, we definitely want to be dancing with that. Once again, thank you so much, Councilman Herb Wesson and Councilman Curran Price. You guys do so much for the city. And I know I'm out in the streets every single day. So when I see you guys, I honor you and I salute you. So thank you guys so much and have a beautiful day.